Apple's new iPhone 15 was launched yesterday, and we've got our annual update on what's new from the mobile internet front. Here's a hint, not a whole lot, but we got the details. Hi, I'm Chris at the Mobile Internet Resource Center here to give you an update on what's new with Apple's latest iPhone 15. Now, normally here at the Mobile Internet Resource Center, we don't cover particular phone models other than the iPhone because it's kind of what sets the bar of what is mainstream for cellular technology for the year ahead. And it's also kind of the big debut for um, the major new modems and stuff that bring a lot of new cellular technology to the devices that a lot of, you know, a huge number of people carry. So we do a little bit of a deeper dive into the iPhone every year, just focusing on what's new when it comes to the connectivity side of things. And well, with the iPhone 15, there's not a whole lot new on the cellular front. There's some interesting new developments on the satellite front. And well, for the iPhone 15 Pro, there is a Wi-Fi 6E at last. So let's go into the details. First off, the signature feature is a satellite feature. This was actually brought out in the iPhone 14 last year is when Apple was the, basically the first major cellular um, device maker to build in integrated satellite connectivity. So you can take your phone and make emergency SOS, uh, um, not calls, but text messaging with an emergency dispatch center to get aid if you are far from where there's cellular coverage. And you know, if you run off the road, if you get um, an, in an accident, it's basically was designed for extreme emergencies only. And that rolled out with the iPhone 14 last year. Now they've expanded it to offer uh, you know, still not general text messaging, not, not the general things you want to do, but they've expanded it beyond emergencies to roadside assistance in the United States in partnership with AAA. So if you have, get locked out, your car breaks down, you get a flat tire and you have no cell coverage, put your phone up in the air, follow the instructions on the screen, and you will be able to do a roadside assistance session with AAA. And if you're a AAA member, they will dispatch somebody to you and you will get help. If you're not a AAA member, you will be able to pay a la carte. The pricing has still not um, been announced by AAA for how that'll all be work out. But now, one important thing to note is right now, the roadside assistance is in partnership with a AAA in the US and is that is the exclusive provider. So if you are, um, not using AAA, but a lot of RVers use other more RV focused roadside assistance services. Well, you know, you might not be the might not be the ideal choice for roadside assistance for you. Maybe in the future, Apple will expand to work with other providers, ones that are more RV focused or maybe expanding into the boating world with like Sea Tow or Towboat US so that uh, boaters can also have the equivalent of roadside assistance or waterway assistance when they have issues and are far from cellular coverage as well. Now, roadside assistance via satellite, but that though it was launched with the iPhone 15, it is not an iPhone 15 exclusive feature. If you have an iPhone 14, you will be getting that as well. So it's new expansion of Apple's satellite service with Global Star. Maybe over time, they'll continue to expand this, perhaps offering general text messages or other things. But that's the new, what's new on the satellite side. Nothing new in the hardware, just new service being offered. On the cellular side, well, we looked at the deep dive into the cellular bands on the new iPhone 15, and it is basically the exact same cellular band support as the iPhone 14, other than two new 5G bands, band N75 and N76. This is a band that is exclusively for use in Europe, and so not a huge deal. Um, it's a kind of a secondary a downlink band that is give extra download capacity in Europe. So a nice small addition for international roamers, but no major big changes on the band compatibility front and how the devices will connect. There was a lot more improvements to the iPhone 14 last year when bands for uh, Dish Network and bands for AT&T's Andromeda 5G network were all um, added to the modem in that generation. But speaking of modems, well, we know the iPhone 14 was using Qualcomm's X65, a very capable um, 5G uh, uh, you know, device, device modem that is got a lot of capabilities. And the strong um, uh, opinion of most analysts is that this year, the iPhone 15 will be using Qualcomm's latest, the X70. So even though there's not much new additional band support, the main difference between the X65 and the X70 is that the X70 can do um, four-way 5G carrier aggregation. That's combined four different 5G signals 
for additional speed. Right now, T-Mobile is the only carrier that is actually even taking advantage of 4G carrier aggregation, but it can offer potentially some really, really phenomenal 5G speeds. And we suspect that if you are in those areas with uh, an iPhone 15, you will get that capability, assuming it is the X70 modem in there. We'll have to wait for the hardware uh, teardowns coming up next week to confirm that, but we're pretty certain X70 is there. The other advantage of the X70 is theoretically it uses less power for 5G signal, and it also has better ability to lock onto a signal in fringe signal areas. So we'll wait and see just how significant that is once there's actual in the field testing. But overall, if you've got an X65, if you've got an iPhone 14 generation, the improvements modem wise to the uh, X70 are not huge, not a good reason to run out and upgrade. If you've got older than an X65, there are some very substantial changes. So maybe a reason to upgrade, but still very minor evolution on the cellular front. Um, few other connectivity changes with the iPhone 15 of note. Uh, the iPhone 15 Pro and Pro Max are getting Wi-Fi 6E. So that is the expansion of um, Wi-Fi 6 to use the six uh, gigahertz band. So you can potentially double your Wi-Fi performance, but well, only if you're talking to um, Wi-Fi 6E compatible router, which, or hotspot, which are still relatively rare. Um, but you know, it is a little bit of future proofing there to have those extra bands. We don't see Wi-Fi 6E really taking off. I think a lot of the industry is still basically holding back for Wi-Fi 7, which is still a year or two or three away. So again, Wi-Fi is evolving fairly slowly and uh, Wi-Fi 6E is kind of being ignored. But if you are a pro user who has a you know, Wi-Fi 6E router and you're doing really high data demand workloads and stuff, well, the pro iPhone 15 Pro now has Wi-Fi 6E, not on the regular iPhone 15. And then there's one other new piece of uh, wireless technology that is in the new iPhone 15s and also in actually the new Apple Watch 9 and Ultra 2, and that is a new generation of ultra wideband chip, the oh, second generation ultra wideband chip. And this is the chip that Apple uses for their precision locating service. So you can um, you know, use your, your phone to find your watch or vice versa. You'll now be able to do precision locating from three times the distance. And we suspect this means there will be a new generation of AirTags that also has a second generation chip that can do precision locating from a longer distance. And potentially this ultra wideband chip will be able to be used for other interesting things down the road. Right now, Apple's kind of keeping it very limited, but you know, new wireless chip on the devices. So, well, that's what's new when it comes to the uh, uh, iPhone 15 on the mobile internet and wireless connectivity front. We are not going to cover all the other interesting things like the fancy camera or the titanium frame or any of those other stuff. That's not our focus here at the Mobile Internet Resource Center. So if you're interested in that, probably 7,000 other videos covering that. But here's your look at what's new when it comes to connectivity. These videos are brought to you by our premium members, our mobile internet aficionados. They make it possible for us to track this news and create these videos. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment, subscribe to our channel, or better yet, consider becoming a member yourself.